I literally have so many things to do today because yesterday there was a sandstorm and it pretty much blocked all of my vlogging for like the entire day. Like, I'm sure you probably don't believe me. I'll take a look at the footage, I'll show you. So, for those of you guys who didn't know, Dubai is actually in the middle of a desert. And because of that, there's like a sandstorm going on right now, which is crazy because I had a lot of filming to do today. I don't know, I just feel like you probably don't want to be driving around whenever you can't see it. The problem with filming in the desert and whenever there's a sandstorm going on is that your gear is going to get sand all over it. I mean, just look at this stuff. And nobody wants sand all over their gear. I even uh, left some socks out here. Look at this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's crazy because you can see the sandstorm like right here, all along here. Okay, maybe that's just an excuse. But anyways, the point is, is that I have a lot of things to do today. I gotta take this little black box all the way to this repair facility. That is all my storage, my videos, my vlogs, everything is on that box. Then I also have to go to the gym, and then after the gym, I need to go to a pool cleaning place to get some pool cleaning supplies to be able to clean my pool for, for my birthday, which is next week. And on top of all that stuff, I still have to vlog and edit this thing and upload it by today. Problem is my skateboard. I was gonna skate today, but it's got chocolate all over it, and uh, pretty sure that's chocolate. I can't smell anything right now. It is 2:30, and I have exactly four and a half hours left to do all the things that I need to do today. I okay, made it to the gym at 2:45. Mental note: takes 10 minutes to get to the gym, and about to go work out. Get it in. Hopefully, uh, we'll have an enjoyable workout, and then we'll be back and on to the next place. I'm gonna try and knock this out within an hour, and hopefully, once we're done, everything else will still be open. All right, let's go. Well, that's just amazing. I left the uh, I left my camera on the whole entire time I was in the gym. Oh my god! I had to cut my gym exercises two two exercises short because uh, well, I was literally about to pass out in the gym. I did get a super sweet protein smoothie. The lady said you should get the uh, the breakfast. Smoothie and I said like, it's not breakfast. And then before I could uh, could understand anything else, I was about to pass out. So I said, just give me the breakfast smoothie. So we're having we're having a breakfast smoothie. Oh uh, man, I was about to throw up. I was in bad shape. Okay, on to the next place. Oh, I've been literally battling not throwing up for like the past ten minutes because I just don't want to throw up in my car. <laughs> but it's bad. I'm like trying so hard right now. I think uh, when you go back to the gym, the hardest thing about going back to the gym. Is, uh, is picking up the waist. No, the hardest part about going back to the gym is actually going to the gym, but once you're in there and you're lifting the weights, the next hardest part is uh, preventing your body from going in absolute shock. And then the follow-on hardest part after that is not throwing up uh, if you work out hard enough. And today, I definitely did. Again, I cut two, two workout shorts. I cheated myself a little bit, but if I would have continued working out, I would have definitely either A, vomited, or B, passed out or C, vomited, then passed out in the middle of gym. Now we're headed to full store, do some collections, some collectivities of some items that I can't remember. Then we're gonna go to the place where I gotta get my NAS repaired. Those of you that don't know what a NAS is, it's basically a network attached storage. It's like an external hard drive, but it plugs into your network and it allows you to like back up all your data. I have probably 24 terabytes full of data that I have since migrated to a bigger NAS because this one, no, you don't care about any of this stuff. But anyways, I have to go return the stupid storage device because uh, it's broken, need to get a repair. Real quick note about the gym today, uh, deadlifted 225, no, no, no you didn't, 195, uh, like three sets of 10, uh, absolutely gassed out of breath. My back is one of my strongest muscles, so when it actually like rebuilds and repairs and then gets stronger, it'll grow and strengthen the fastest out of all my muscle groups. I don't know if you care about that either. I'm just talking. Listen, we're going somewhere together. I hope you enjoy the story. I hope you enjoy me talking about absolutely nothing. But once we get there, it's just gonna be as unfulfilling as the rest of this vlog. So don't get your hopes up for anything exciting. <laughs> 
Arab and the Spanish culture share the same sentiment whenever it comes to timing and punctuality. In America, the only difference is, is that when they say 15 to 20 minutes, whenever they're referring to like how long it's gonna take them to get there, that's 15 to 20 minutes without traffic. And as we all know, there's pretty much always traffic in America, it doesn't matter what city you live in. The difference between Dubai is the highway system is so well built that 15 to 20 minutes actually means 15 to 20 minutes just because, well, there's not really very much traffic because the highway system is built so well. I totally take back everything I said about no traffic in Dubai. So I drove all the way over to the pool place, but apparently they don't actually sell the, uh, the supplies to clean the pool they they only clean the pool but they won't clean my pool because it's not really a pool it's a pond and it doesn't have a filter system so we have to go somewhere else now so i'm totally parked on the side of the road here but i think that it's all good this is the place we're gonna go see if these guys have any pool supply stuff looks pretty legit so hopefully they got stuff here i really don't know if this is technically a parking spot it doesn't look like one but... <laughs> The guy informed me that this is actually illegal to park here, so I have to move my car. This one looks good. This looks good. Oh. So we got all the post supplies that we need. Now we're headed over to the next place to go return this black box. My car is starting to look like a freaking mess. This place is absolute madness when it comes to construction. There's like so much, uh, so much construction going on around here. And there's definitely not enough lanes for everybody to like travel through. There's little lanes that look like you should go that way, but then it's like bus taxis only. And then if you go that way, you get you get a ticket because I, I've done this before and uh, it's yeah, you get like this massive fine. And we are literally almost there, probably just like another minute or so. Well it actually says. And so mission accomplished. We definitely dropped off the little black box. Now, I, uh, I pulled over because the guy, he didn't shut my door very well. Um, but the good news is, is that it's also golden hour right now, which means like you can catch some epic uh, little shots. We're gonna send a drone up, which should be a little bit of fun. And the other crazy thing is, is that uh, where I ended up is actually a very hot spot to like take photos. I've seen a lot of people uh, like take photos in this area. I forget exactly what it's called, but like this is all really, really old building an infrastructure from Dubai? I don't know. Uh, maybe Sharjah, I forget exactly where I'm at. But anyways, these are like really old, like antique buildings. Uh, and I just ended up here, so we'll make the most of it. Absolutely beautiful. So I figured while we're, uh, we're waiting for the drone to do its thing, we'll just go uh, ride around and multitask. What is this place? Closed, apparently. Ooh. So cool. I always see people like here taking like photos and stuff. And since we don't have any way to take photos today, we'll just uh, we'll improvise. Can you even see what does what the framing look like here? Oh, absolutely terrible. I probably just look like a drug dealer. Man, I'd really like to explore here more, but uh, gotta get going. Actually, I uh, just got into a new business called uh, Dubai Lit Yacht Tours. This is uh, the yacht we're gonna be taking out every weekend. If you guys are interested, you're in the Dubai area, make sure you look up the hashtag Dubai Lit Yacht Tours.
guys, that concludes the tour for the uh, the place that I don't know the name of. I'm gonna put it in the description though because by this time I'll have already looked it up. And uh, if you liked that tour, if you uh, thought it was pretty cool, um, and you don't have PayPal, you can click subscribe if you're new here and click the like button otherwise. Just about to leave and then I remembered I didn't get a thumbnail, so we're gonna get a thumbnail real quick. all over my wheels, it's all over my hands. Oh.